Hello, my name's Paul. Welcome to this video on Stop Motion Pro and just getting started and uh, getting into the basics of the software. So uh, what we're looking at here is the Stop Motion Pro interface where we have a, a toolbar and a live view image here which we can uh, rescale and this will also show us the animation as we film. So let's get into it and film some animation now. Uh, I should also point out that there's other video tutorials on connecting cameras and you should have a look at those to see how we get to this point. Anyway, let's say we want to start filming our animation. So we've got a capture button down here on the right hand side of the toolbar with a camera shape. I simply press that, there's a confirming beep and the frame is saved onto the computer's hard drive. I can then move my puppet and press capture again. Move the puppet press capture, move the puppet, press capture. You can see down here the frames are incrementing and moving along. So we're up to frame five, and it's simply a process of moving the uh, puppet. And then when I'm ready, I can press play. And there we go. My film is already well and truly underway. Uh, one of the other great functions here is uh, you can see through the live video to previously captured frames. And then you do that simply by adjusting this onion skinning slider here. Okay, and you can see through, which is fantastic for when uh, the unthinkable happens. Here, I'll just capture a frame here and show you what I mean. When the unthinkable happens and you bump your camera, as you can see with the onion skinning on, you can simply blend it halfway like that and then move your camera back approximately to where it was There we go. And just go on filming where you left off. So you don't have to restart your uh, shot or redo your animation. You can just go on and keep filming. One of the other classic problems that can happen to you sometimes while you're working is uh, getting the old hand in shot like that. So when we play the animation, you get a hand in shot. We've all had that happen. There's a couple of ways we can get rid of that hand. Uh, one of them is just simply right clicking on the frame and selecting the hide frame option that appears. Okay, or we can go into the editor and that's a button on the toolbar here. It shows our, file, our frames all in a thumbnail view and there's our cheeky hand uh, which has uh, crept into the shot. We can see it over here on the preview pane as well. Again, if I right click on that, I can just hide it and if I uh, click at the start of the sequence there and press play. No more hand. All right, another great thing you can do with the editor here is uh, select all the frames using the shift key. I'll copy those frames here on the actions palette. Select the frame I want to, uh, oh, I can just use the button here, paste after. The frames are pasted in. So now when I play the sequence, we get it happening twice. But what I can do, rather than just it happening twice, I can reverse the order of those frames and so now when I double click and play we've got him shaking his head. All right so that's just a few of the uh, initial features of the software. Uh, I encourage you to have a look at some of the uh, the other videos on here which go into more depth on how to use Stop Motion Pro. Thanks for watching. 